Ladies and gentlemen, and we're back uh, right here on Coffee Night with your girl Suzette McKenzie, right here on FMJ Media, na Niko na Joel Luaga. Joel, unatamani kuwa diamond or gospel industry? Hapana. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but then kuna ile nikisema kutaka kuwa diamond na manisha kwenye stats, na manisha kwenye mafanikio, na manisha kwenye brand kukua kuwa kubwa watu kuelewa. You know the way diamond is? And a dominate sana katika industry ya mziki. Tanzania, do you want to be the same? Suzeti, mimi nikiongea kitu sui kama nitaeleweka, lakini... Okay, utofauti wangu mina diamond ni nini? Diamond anafanya kwa ajili yake. Yeah. But mimi, misifanyi kwa jili yangu. It is for the kingdom of God. Na mimi tama yangu. Mimi nitakuambia hivi. I don't see, siyo mtu ambaye natamani kuona. Mimi nikifanya hivi. Mimi nikifanya kwa kwenye hili. Mimi natamani kuona. Uh, ni wete tu ufame wa mungu. Yani, hii general, general, hii kingdom ya mungu yote. Sisi wa imbaji, watumishi wa mungu. Kuna mahali nataka kutupa ona. Mm. Ndio maana vitu vingi mimi nakuwa kama na pioneer. Vitu vingi mimi nakuwa mm. kama naanzisha. Yaani kama mimi napita eh, wakati mwingine ni pagumu, mm. panachubua na nini lakini kuna mahali mimi natamani kuona tunafika. Tunafika okay. Yaani so mm. ukiniambia eh, eh, ndio maana nimekuambia utofauti ni huo tu kama wakati mwingine damu anaweza kaa ni yeye lakini mimi wakati mwingine natamani uko mbeleni hata nikija nikiangalia nyuma nisione sana mafanikio yangu binafsi. Though huwa hayakwepeki. Haya wakati mwingine unapomtumikia Mungu eh haya mafanikio hayakwepeki mm. lakini hili eneo zima sitaki kuita sana industry ya, ya gospel kwa sababu haijawa industry <laughs> yani yeah. yani ni, ni seme tu upande huu yeah. sisi tunamtumikia Mungu ninatamani kuona vitu vingi sana vinabadilika kwa hiyo yeah. in terms of evil stats tunapokuwa unasema yeah. natamani kuona tunaenda mbali zaidi yeah. tuna tunashika tunakuwa juu zaidi eh, tuna dominate zaidi yeah. tufike tu every household Tanzania hapa yeah. hiyo na wimbo wa injili ndani yeah. every household kuna kipindi tulewe kufika huko zamani zile mm. kipindi cha Rose Mwando anatoa hiyo yeah. macho leo ziko wapi hizo 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 stats eh. lakini mpo pona mnafika eh, sasa hivi lakini sawa za mimi bado we need to do more we need to do more and tunahitaji tu kitu kimoja katika kufanya zaidi kama uki niuliza nitakwambia kwanza we need mm. to unite mm. tunahitaji kuja pamoja tunahitaji kushirikiana kwa pamoja e, hahitaji tena kuwa kwa ajili ya mtu fulani mm. hahitaji kuwa kwa ajili ah ni kwa ajili ya Mungu na ni kwa ajili ya kuona kizazi hiki Mungu alichotuamini mm. cha kutupa huduma tuipeleke kifanyike kweli tu, twende tu, twende mbele zaidi eh twende mbele zaidi tuongeze nguvu ya kwenda international tufikie watu huko mm. wengi wa kutosha lakini hata hapa ndani tuongeze yani mm. tunakwenda vizuri but tunahitaji speed zaidi yeah, that's what i want to say okay. yeah. watu waliona uko very close na Diamond Platinums mm. mm. especially itaingia kifo cha Hayat mm. alikuwa rais wetu mm. Magufuli mheshimiwa mm. Magufuli and mkafanya nyimbo pamoja mm. tumeona mko close yani mm. ni mtu ambaye anakukubali alipost mm. tuba yako mm. uh, nyimbo zako mm. aliweka wazi kabisa kwamba anakukubali sana kwenye mm. Instagram page yake mm. na kuka kuna maneno mengi mm. Joel anataka kuingia kwenye secular Joel anataka kusainiwa WCB Joel <laughs> yeye na diamond sasa hivi anataka na ule diamond anataka yani kuingia katika sectors kama hizo what do you have to say about that ni kweli ulitakiwa kusainiwa WCB au ni ile tu kwamba Simba alikuwa anakukubali tu Uh, no, ni vile tu Damon mimi ni mtu anayekubali tu kama watu wengine wako secular artists mm. wengi tu ambao wanakubali eh, Damon ni mmoja mm. wapo ya watu ambao hajaficha yani kuonyesha ni kwa kiasi mm. yani anakubali na anakubali kwa maana ya talent kwa sababu mm. anachokiona yeye zaidi kwangu yeye anaona talent <laughs> <laughs> unaelewa uwezo wewe anaona ule uwezo ambao yeye yeah. ule ndo unamchanganya yani anaona mm. ah huyu jamaa ni sasa unaelewa <laughs> kitu ambacho hata secular artists wengi ndicho mm. wanachoona unaona hii eh, jamaa hii talent yani unaelewa ambacho mm. It's obvious hakiwezi kujificha but mm. sio kweli kwamba eh, kuna mambo sije mimi kusainiwa WCB mm. kwa sababu hata yale leo tuunganisha mwanzoni ni mambo ya, kima, ya kitaifa mm. of course unaelewa na vitu kama hivyo na uh, kulikuwa na mambo mengine nafikiri pale kulikuwa kuna issue ya wanawake pia yes, ile ambayo yote ni mambo ya, ya kutunganisha Kijami, kama taifa ya jamii yeah. unaona lakini niwe tu mkweli kwamba uh, there is nothing like that kwa maana ya kwamba kutoka upande wangu kwa sababu mimi niwaambie tu watu ukweli eh, u, Yaani hatufanyi hivyo sio kwa sababu yani mimi binafsi ni sema mimi leo siwezi kusainiwa eh, na lebo ya secular nikawa mm. secular artist sio kwa sababu naogopa watu ama sio kwa sababu watu watasemaje mm. no 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 because yeah, i have a calling mm. nina yani mm. na wito wangu nina ambaye aliyeniita mungu aliyeniita mm. 
huyu Mungu alienifanya niko hai mpaka leo na kunipa hii huduma. Alieniamini hmm. kunipa hii huduma. I cannot do anything about it. But unaweza kuwa kwenye secular record label na ukafanya gospel music. Ah sasa kwa mfano natolea mfano. Mm -hmm. Kuna uh, big kuna big secular I mean uh, kuna kuna music label kubwa duniani mm -hmm. ambazo maybe za wakati ngezi nashughulika na usambazaji yeah, yeah, yeah. kuna kama Universal Publishing kuna and eh, and kuna Sony, Sony si kuna nini yeah. kama kitu mfano za bando alikuwa Sony. Yeah. That's okay. You mm -hmm. can do that kwa maana ya ku but you still do your music lakini mm -hmm. kwenye mambo ya kwenda mbele zaidi sasa mm -hmm. kushikilia mauzo yako na vitu kama hivyo. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Lakini not about mimi kuimba secular. Kwa unaweza kusainiwa WCB. Chance ikitokea. <laughs> Chap Diamond sasa hivi amesema kuna wasanii hao no, wawili. No, no. Okay, yani let me let me be clear. No, kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu ya mlengo. Mm. Eh, yani wanachokifanya WCB ni tofauti na kinachokifanya mm. mimi. Unaelewa? So obvious eh, yale malengo, nia vita tofautiana. Hatuwezi ku, ku, kusema tunafanya pamoja. Ndio maana nimetolea mfano makampuni mengine ya usambazaji mm. labda nini. Kwa mfano kuna kipindi WCB walianzisha hii kitu mm. ya kuuza muziki online. I don't online, know ilishia wapi. Yeah, yeah. Kwa fao, tulika nao mezani, tukaongea. Kwa safi.com e, yeah. yeah. So vitu kama hivyo tunaweza tukafanya kazi pamoja. Hivyo vinawezekana. Mm. Mm. Unaweza kushirikiana na wasafi kama wa kampuni kwenye maeneo mengine. Lakini not kwenye music label sasa kunisign mm. cause I am, I am doing something different. Una, una wimbo na Diamond. Ambola basi sasa tujawe kusikia. Tujawe. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, uh, kama uh, wewe na banaba jamani. Hapa <laughs> yeah, Diamond sina. Na Diamond sina niyo mkweli. Eh. Na yeye ndo anapenda nyimbo zangu sana mm. of course. Na kumbuka kuna siku hata alipigiwa simu kwenye kituo French mm. television. Akaambiwa taja wimbo wako mmoja unataka upigwe akataja yeah. wimbo wangu. Yeah. Na sababu kile hiyo. So hiyo. Hata Insta kwenye Insta story. Nasikia kwamba kuna 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 kana nia mawe kufanya eh sababu kile hiyo kama okay, yeah, kama yeah, yeah. eh lakini okay. haja hii Hey, right. nasikia kutoka kwa watu wake wa karibu but i'm not sure kuhusu hilo lakini hatuna right. hatuna uh, so kitu kibaya yeah. una wameshae ku approach kuomba jinsi ya kuwasaidia jinsi ya kuimba live kwa sababu gospel artists wanapofanya live music mm. ni tofauti na hawa secular Kabisa. artists wanapofanya kwenye mziki production Kabisa. lighting Kabisa. kila kitu wanafanya naona yeah. kama wanafanya kawaida mm. wameshae ku damu anashae ku approach bwana hebu nisaidie yeye mnafanyaje hivi vitu na sisi tunadhani kuwa as strong as the way you guys are ya yeah, sio direct mm. sio direct kwamba tusaidie maana nini mm. ya lakini kwenye mazungumzo wakati mwingine mnaongea mtu anaonyesha ku appreciate ana kuhoji maswali mawili matatu unaelewa tu mtu anataka kupata insight kuhusu na kitu fulani mm. lakini artist wengine wa bongo flavor wengi tu wa secular yeah. sijui wengi wanacheki bwana nisaidie eh, kuna mwingine aliyewe mm. kumchimsali mkubwa tu aliyewe kumwambiaje po kabisa wewe oh, eh. yeye mwambia bwana ni coach coach ni so wako hata mimi siwezi kuwataja sio vizuri lakini mtu anakuambia jua nisaidie ni coach yani uwezi no i do i do that No, that, that's, that's, that's profession yeah. that's it because that's yani kuna 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 huduma alafu kuna 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 profession mm -hmm. yangu pia yani kwa maana ya kwamba ame vocal coach, coach i can yeah. do that siwezi kuchambua eti huyu siwezi kufanya kwa sababu huyu sio sio hajaokoka mm. no i do that nafanya hivyo coaching kuwafundisha watu how to write songs mm -hmm. kuwafundisha watu how to kwa mfano oh. jinsi ya kuandika nyimbo wakati mwingine kwa maana ya kanuni ni kanuni tu hiyo tofauti ya kwamba huu ni wimbo lakini kuna kanuni za jinsi gani wimbo ambao unaweza kufikia watu kwa haraka mm. jinsi gani unafanya kuna kanuni kuna kanuni kwa mfano moja wapo ya kanuni ni kwamba unatakiwa wimbo wako sekunde ya tano within mm. five seconds uwe tayari umeshaonyesha unataka kuimba hilo Unaelewa? Yaani uwezo kawa umefika sekunde ya kumi. Watu bado hawajakuelewa. Yaani hujaeleweka unataka kuimba kwa so so hivi hizo ni formula watu unawafundisha kwenye coaching hizo sauti sima falsero sima ni hiyo ni hiyo ni unawafundisha kabisa watu. So na, na I coach them na wasaidia na ongea nao jinsi gani ya kufanya. I do that kabisa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, sisi ni kama ni kitu kibaya si, si, because kwa wengine wanaichukua tofauti. Watu kumekuwa kuna mionekano miwili mm. katika hii kazi ambayo imetoka juzi kati ya wewe na Barnaba mm. kwenye album ya LSD. Mm. Kuna wale ambao wamebarikiwa. <coughs> Mimi personally nimebarikiwa sababu nimekwambia nimerudia zaidi ya mara tatu. Yeah. Jana when I was listening, mm. listening to it. Mm. Ni mzuri mm. na ni, 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 ki, we are building the kingdom of God. Mm. Lakini kuna wale wengine ambao mm. wameona kana kwamba umemkosea Mungu vilivyo. Kwamba umeenda kushirikiana na Barnaba eh the, 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 the man that sings love songs na nini katika album yake ambayo imejaa watu wengi kina Damon sijui kina Lunya and what not it's a love album and ndani yake kuna gospel song and Joel Waga you on it again sasa hawa kwanza ndo wao niliwasema mwanzoni ambao <laughs> I won't deal with them <laughs> yani yeah. ambao kiukweli I won't mm. deal with them kwa sababu 
eh, ndio hao na wasema sasa ambao wanajichukulia wao nafasi ya Mungu mm. yani wanakasirika wao wanaamini mimi sina roho mtakatifu wao ndo wana roho mtakatifu mm. mimi sina Mungu aliyeniita sina road map sina mm. yani bibi anasema kwamba roho wa Mungu amwe ndani ya mioyo yenu mimi sina huyo mm. roho yani wanaamini wao ndio wana they know everything mm. and mimi mimi sijui ila mimi natakiwa kwenda wanavyotaka wao yani wao ndo wani guide mm. I cannot deal with them. Mimi ninachokijua ni kwamba I have reasons. Mm. Jambo la kwanza, uh, 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 nilishaga weka msimamo wangu tangu zamani kwamba sina shida inapokuja swala la kushirikiana na wasanii wa secular kwenye baadhi ya vitu, kwenye nyimbo kama za kijamii, lakini mm. wakati mwingine hata kuimba inategemea tunaimba nini. Mm. Lakini pia na muhusika mwenyewe kwangu ina mata. Mm. So unaendelea vizuri. Barnaba haimbagi vitu vichafu. He sings of course about love. Mm. He sings secular but sio mtu anaimba vitu vichafu. Mm. That's hiyo quality kwangu niliangalia namba moja. Lakini namba mbili, mimi mimi nimekaa naye. Nimegundua so many times hata watu wataona this guy atam pro, uh, he, he proclaim Jesus so many hey, times. Yaani ataongea hata kijinga jinga tu anasema Jesus sivyo. Really, watu wanadhani ni ujinga lakini sio ujinga. That guy hata kwenye show zake atapiga hata nyimbo za gospel mbili au tatu. Lazima. Aliwahi kufanya cover ya ya Mbwene Mosongwe yes. na akaimba naye siku moja mlimani pale, mlimani si. Karo za kaimba naye. He, he is the guy ambaye anamjua ana Mungu mm. ni swala la muda tu unajua wakati mwingine huwezi kuforce yeah. sababu Mungu ndo anayetoa neema mm. unajua Yesu anasema hakuna je kwa kwangu isipokuwa baba ame, yani unakuwa una dragged neema mm. ya Mungu inafunguliwa inakuvuta wow. mm. ujiokoi unaokolewa kwa neema unaelewa so mm. it's the matter of time ni mtu ambaye mimi nikimwangalia naona ndo kabisa it's the matter of time ni lini Mungu atafungua mlango wa neema akaokoka god knows mimi kazi yangu ni kuongea naye habari za Mungu na vitu kama hivyo okay. so he, he is not sio mtu kama watu wengine wanaochukulia labda ni mtu rafu ni mm. mtu no he is not that's number three. lakini kingine i saw it as a chance mimi mm. kwangu pia ya ku, ya, ku, ya kuanza kufungua eh, kwamba we can penetrate hile ni albamu ya love sui na ni whatever but mm. mimi ningeimba pia yale mambo ya mingine mm. ingekuwa sasa hapo ndo unapata mashaka mm. kidogo but i stood with gospel mm. nimeimba yesu nimeimba injili nimesimama na kile ambacho watu okay. wengine mm. wote wameimba tofauti mimi nimesimama na cha mm. kwangu which is not bad na kimenipa amani na mungu ni mm. nemtumikia alienieta mm. alinipa amani la kufanya hivyo and i am sure kuna watu katika kusikiliza zile nyimbo akifika yule wimbo namba 17 it will feel different from yeah. the other songs true. True. Automatically kuna True. kitu tofauti mtu atasikia kwenye moyo wake tofauti na zile. Ataingia nia yake ni kusikiliza zile mm. nyingine lakini that thing itamkamata mahali fulani. Itampa kurudi nyuma. Mungu anajua labda atatafuta gospel nyingine ya mwingine labda ataiplay, ataiplay. We don't know itaishia wapi na Mungu mm. lakini Mungu anajua. So to me that was a seed. I planted a seed. Kwanza kwenye maisha ya banaba binafsi. Lakini pia kwa sababu alifanya cover tu ya yeah. Mbwene. Haitoshi mm. kuishia pale. Mm maisha yake binafsi lakini maisha na wanao msikiliza mm. hao watu wa secular to me is a seed i don't know when it grow i don't know when it itazama tunda lakini wow. kwangu ile ni mbegu wow. and people should know this na hili niliweke wazi wale wanaosema mbona mbona mm. wasifikiri hivi ni vitu tunavifata tu kama opportunity mm. no 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 hao watu wa secular wanatu chekigi every and now mm-hmm. ila unaangalia tu kwamba i should do this no Unaangalia ndani kule kuna sema nini? Kuna mtu utasikia amani utafanya naye. Mm. Kuna mtu utasikia amani utafanya naye. Kuna vitu utaitwa utafanya nini? Mm. So we have all this. They should respect pia kwamba na sisi tuna roho mtakatifu. Mm. Yaani na mimi mpaka sasa. Naongozwa. Yaani mimi pia sio eh yaani kama mambo yeye anaona ah 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 kama yeye ndio Mungu. Ah ah. <laughs> yaani ah ah. ah, ah. <laughs> Joel, yeah. mwaka huu 2022 ni sema kuanzia miaka mitatu kumekwepo jina la Joel Waga liko mm. attached na scandals mm. kadhaa mm. especially this year mm. why i don't know why is it Joel na mwanamke huyu mm. Joel kamzalisha huyu mm. Joel amemzalisha ame, ame mtu njia ndoa mm. Joel ana cheat mm. Joel amelala na huyu na huyu kuna vingine ambavyo ni vikubwa sana ambavyo viliandikwa kwenye mitandao mm. mm. and it was very shocking mm. at that particular time na sisi mimi sitakuwa balozi mzuri nikiendelea kuongea tena ni kama mm. naendelea kusambaza mm. kwa nini nakuwa hivi Joel short and clear ni kwamba mm. kama unavouliza kwa nini mm. I mimi mwenyewe nitajiuliza kwa nini lakini nitahesabu tu maybe it's my battle Mm. ambazo i thank god i win every day mm. yamesema maneno mengi 
wengi wa shasema gani niachana na mke wangu yeah. sio nimefanya nini yani mimi na mke wangu wakati mwingine tunakaa tunafungua na sisi <laughs> tunasoma kama watu wengine <laughs> sio ile alafu tunacheka eh <laughs> ni watu watasema hiki kesho mm. watajifunga mdomo wenyewe kuna wengine watatoa maneno eh watagundua eh jamani mbona tu ni kwa sababu pia kwa sehemu kubwa mimi this time kwa, kwa muda mwingi huo unaosema mm. i decided to dis, yani kufungia Dis-connect. maisha yangu mm. ya binafsi mm. sio unanielewa vizuri yanasema maneno mengi ningeweza kuwa natoka na kila neno kila yani mm. kila siku natoka jamani hili mbona sio kweli kama ninavyokuambia mengine nakaa na mke wangu and you like he Yaani hili mm. ili ni sisi kweli. Eh, eh, <laughs> Tunaishia <laughs> hivyo you understand but I thank God Mungu kwa neema yake ambaye ametuvusha mimi na mke wangu. Paka tulipofika leo hapa ni neema ya Mungu. Unaona wakati mwingine watu wame take advantage of situations. Mm. Niseme tu ni pepo zilizokuja za tofauti tofauti ambazo nafikiri adui na watu wake walidhamiria wali mabaya. Mm. Lakini nashukuru Mungu ambaye ametusimamisha. Yeah. We are still standing. Mm-hmm. Kila kitu kina move, we are fine and we are mm. good. So ni- ni, ni, ni kweli kwamba kuna watu ambao walikasirishwa mm. na wewe kufunga ndoa na peace mke wako to a point <laughs> to a, uh, skiliza, <laughs> to a point kwamba kwa ilavo ina kwa, ilavo, kwa, ilavo kwa inasemekana mm. ni kwamba ilifika a point mtu akaenda sijui akamfanya sijui ni mchawi sijui kumloga ikafika muda tukua tumuone mke wako kabisa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii ukaacha kuvaa pete Joel mm. ukuwa tu kisimama on stage una mm. pete mm. uh, ukafuta picha zote mm. uh, of course i know ulikuwa una ulikuwa una ulikuwa una ile mm. uh, higher and deeper mm. i think the ep mm. yeah uh, ulifuta picha zote mm. uh, on her birthday ilikuwa hata mm. kuna muda ilipita i think mm. uh, huku post hata kwenye birthday mm. yake there were a lot of things going on mm. tulikuwa tumoni peace mm. tulikuwa tukuoni wewe mm tukao tunakuwa na wewe na kazi zako mm. lakini mm. sio with peace without mm. your ring mm. nilikuwa inasemekana kwamba yeye hayu, uh, mm. hayuko sawa mm. kuna watu wamemfanyia vitu anaumwa mm. uh, haonekani ha ameficha kutokana na vile vitu ambavyo vimefanyika kwake mm. is this true now that's not true uh, ninachoweza kusema ni kwamba kama watu wengine wanaweza kupitia changamoto labda za kuumwa ama maradhi na kama hivyo mm. which nisingetaka kuongelea sana kwa sababu everybody mm. mtu yote anaweza kupata nayo mambo naelewa machangamoto ya kuumwa na nini yanatokea so it happened in that time mke wangu alipata changamoto mm. ya kuumwa lakini it is not as the way watu wanaongea mm. alafu watu kuchukia mimi kuoa hiyo ni kama ida yani hata wewe leo hapa ukatangaza kuolewa kuna mtu tu ambaye alikuwa mm. anakuazia yeah. yani anasema yeye ni suzeti hapo <laughs> kashanga eh suzeti kaolewa <laughs> eh hiyo ni kawaida yani wanapofurahi wawili kuna wengine nyuma huko ambao wezi hiyo ni kawaida so i cannot even hiyo siitili maana ni kwa hiyo siamini katika mambo siku kwamba kuna watu sio walimloga mke wangu i don't believe in that Eh, na mimi tu ni changamoto kama changamoto nyingine mm. za ku za, kama nilivyosema kama watu wengine wanavyopitia mm. and i thank god zilipita na mambo mengine yale nilifafanua kuhusu yeah. na kufuta picha yale yeah. nilishaikuyasema wakati fulani kwamba nilikuwa na i was branding my project, page yeah. nilikuwa na project nilikuwa nafanya na swala la pete ni very pesa na mke wangu alikuwa akisikia anacheka mm. kwa sababu nikikwambia sababu wewe mwenyewe utashangaa ni bana ni that's it na tumekuwa na marekani i bought yeah. it Yani it was very simple. Yani hasa mke wangu kuna wakati mpaka mke wangu akaniambia basi lazimishia hili tu sasa. Eh. Maana sasa watu sasa jamani maneno. Yani mke wangu sasa ndo anasema sasa hebu basi try it. Try it hata kui. Usuna neno anachosema. It was a very normal case ambayo siji kwa nini nakuaga special tu inapokuja mm. kwa Joel lakini huwa naelewa. Tuna waimbaji wangapi leo tukiwa list hapa picha ulizo post wiki tatu hizo pita. Wameona hawa na pete wangapi? Wengi. <laughs> Usuna nielewa? Yeah. I don't know why inakuwa special kwa Joel Waga but I think yeah. namshukuru Mungu. Hiyo ni neema kwamba watu wana notice. Usuna uh-huh. <laughs> nielewa? Yeah, yeah, anyway, that's it. No wanasema hiyo ni neema but I thank God kwa sababu mm. that was not an issue and when we traveled tukaenda tukaenda uh, kupata the size that we want and all that na na vitu kama za wakati. Na ilikuwa ni nikwambia ilikuwa ni project. Yaani ilikuwa ni project kabisa kama na mke wangu yeah. sasa tunakwenda tutafute sasa ambayo unaelewa. So I thank God for that. Uh, yeah. ku, wewe kulikuwa kuna wakati au mm. uh, jina lako lilikuwa attached with mm. Muna. Mm. Muna love. Mm. Na ikasemekana mm. kwamba mlikuwa kwenye mahusiano. Hata mm. kipindi ambapo mtoto wake alipofariki Patrick mm. Airport mm. ulikuepo pale mm. Joel ulikuepo na Muna ulikuwa very close na mtoto mm. wake Patrick ikasemekana kwamba kuna mahusiano mm. ya kimapenzi ambayo yakawa yanaendelea hiyo kitu ili ku affect kiasi gani to point ile ku affect tu ile jina lako kuo likaanza kama kuchafuliwa like kila mtu akaanza kuongea la kwake sasa I'm sorry to say this itataka kujibu sasa hivi kabisa kuhusiana na mambo because wow. they are 
you know, have a family okay. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not good for me to talk about those things. Oh, you hear me? Because so timid, but family now. Yeah, I can. Uh, mm. You cannot talk about it. Nah, All right, uh, so keep to keep yeah. by, so keep yeah. to keep by. Yeah. Uh, like in Joel, how do you protect your wife? Una protect VIP in kio ako. Kutoka na naamani na yesi suna expect si kuataba suwe de live. Eh, yaman. Mkiwa nguyu hapa. Unabona, <laughs> hapa tuko yumbani, ito meka, yeah. anayotoka kupika, ni mm. mzuri, ni mm. nini, she's okay. Kwa hivu na msema, nojua kuna ile, there's a time, kwa nye public figures, it's mm. really important. Mm. Kwa mbapo, mtu flani, kutoka kwenye saiko yako, mme wako, mke wako, yoyote yule, mm. anapo kuwa attacked. Mm. There's, tuna expect kuna ile shield, mm. amboi natoka hitha kwa mme wake wa mke mm. wake. Kwa mba, mm. I must stand. This is my mm. wife, mm -hmm. and I must stand for her. Mm. Si japen. Ata kama watu ataindelea, lakini mm. kuna ile kwa mba ni imesimama ni imemtetea mm. mke wangu. Mm. Ni melinda nduwa yangu. Uwani kama kuna mda watu anaona, ah, jueli hata ajari. Jueli wajeni mm. wanaindelea huko, ah, jasemi chochote. <laughs> Mtu watafuta hata kuna video, laba umekaa tu, vizuri, umechmala, afuwa uja smile. Mm. Unaona, unaona, mm. hambende mke wake. Mm. Video, laba utemke, umshike mkono, umshiki. Mm. Laba unayataka kujishukua wewe, ukamona ewe, ukapitisha kamera. Yani, mm. Why do, how do you defend her when people want to attack her? Number one, I don't love my wife by proving to people. Hmm. That's number one. I, I, I love my wife and that has nothing, nothing to, do to do with, with other people. Mm -hmm. Number two, I protect her. Mimi kama shieldi wake, mimi kama mume wake ninamlinda katika namna zote ambazo kama mume wake anahitaji kumlinda she is protected you know mm. socially financially kila kitu spiritual na katika maeneo mengi mimi kama mume wake but hiyo pia haitajiki kuhusika na watu kwa sababu gani whenever utatoka na kufanya kitu kama hicho utawafanya watu kuwa mahakama ambao mm. every day utahitaji kuwa unatoka na kutoa na, 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 na kujitetea every day I've learned okay. in my life that I sijawahi kutengeneza kwenye maisha yangu pulpit sijawahi kutengeneza platform mm. ya mimi kuwa nasimamia hapo kujitetea ama kutetea vitu fulani kwa sababu whenever you do that una create culture uki create your culture you live by that to the end of that marriage okay. so i don't build my marriage katika platform ya what people say it's about what my wife says in the house mm. mimi mke wangu akisema kitu ama akiumizwa na kitu ama akikwaza na kitu yeye yeah, yeah. yani nitakwenda paka deepest of the sea kuhakikisha kwamba i make her happy mm -hmm. but it's not about people kwa nini kwa sababu nikitengeneza hiyo kacha moja ni kwambie watu hawaridhiki hakuna siku utawaridhisha hakuna siku kwa mfano unakuta una post mtu anakuambia mkeo yuko wapi no guys siku muolea we yani siku kuolea wewe huyu nilimuoa mi as long as mimi namuona nyumbani kwangu kila siku na namani inatosha thanks guys ambao mnatupenda mnapenda kutuona pamoja mm. lakini msitutengenezee obligation Yaani msitutengenezee yani kwamba sasa ni lazima wewe kila siku muone mke wangu kwenye page yangu ni lazima ni kuonyeshe mke wangu sasa hivi anaonekanaje yuko wapi kwa sababu people will still ask utamtaoana utasema hatumuoni utamuonyesha utasema mbona yeye mtoto mtazaa mtoto utasema mtoto mbona wadu wa pili mtazaa wa pili mbona mna iki mbona mna gari fulani mna nyumba fulani it is too much huwezi kufulfill request za watu kwa hiyo watu wakifikiri wale wanaofikiri kwamba simlindi mke wangu no guys i Yani, yani touch anything else not my wife. Ukimgusia kwa social media kwenye kuongea it's your bundle, it's your platform hiyo ni juu yako but don't come near my wife. People know mimi hata rafiki zangu anajua kwamba Joeli gusa kitu chake chochote kingine but not his wife. So everything about my wife na kingine kikubwa ambacho kwa mfano nakisema ni, nimezungumza pale mwanzoni. Nime niseme sio niseme nimejaribu ndio mfumo wangu kwa sasa. Watatusamee wale wanaopenda mambo ya shofu za mm. hizo ambao wale, of course walitamani kuziona mm. zinafanyika lakini for now watanisamee eh, I am happy I have mimi ni mtu unajua wanasemaga mtu happily married I am happily married na mke wangu ana amani kwa hiyo kuhusiana na mambo mengine ya nje na nini mimi namkava huko mke wangu lakini ya mengine ya huko kiukweli na namshukuru Mungu mimi mke wangu sio mtu wa mitandao unajua mke wangu mimi most of the things haoni yeah. <laughs> even unajua sometimes hata watu wanajisumbua na kuangaika yeah. most of the things my wife doesn't see kwa sababu sio mtu wa mitandao mm. sio mtu pia muongeaji ni mkimia namshukuru Mungu ni mtu eh, wa vitu vya rohoni sana very deep anaangalia vitu kwa jicho la rohoni zaidi ata take action ataomba tutaomba tutafanya we, we done that huku kuingia njia gani tunazitumia sisi kudili na hizi kelele kelele za watu Hizo sasa ni za kwetu lakini katika kitu watatusamee hakuna siku watakuta nimetoka mimi 
na kutengeneza hiyo kacha ya kwamba jamani sasa naomba ni address mm. ile mm. alafu wakati mwingine unapofanya hivyo ndio unafanya mtu ajue kwamba kumbe kimefika mm. kumbe kuna shida unaelewa eh mm. wakati mwingine acha mtu apige kelele mm. afa ajiulize ina maana kasikia hajasikia yani mtu abaki na ina maana nilipolisema hili huyu mtu kasikia hajasikia sisi ni tu mkweli most of the times hatusiki <laughs> yani hatuoni tu na songa zetu as long as we are happy we are good okay. kabisa uli 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 jaribu hata kumcheki mange kimambi kwenye dm baada no, 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 ya no, 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 no. hata kuja yani, hata kujaribu ku mwambia like hey take this down like mimi usipigane vita ni ya bwana how do i do that mimi naamini vita inaopigana na bana suzeti I, na, yani vita anayopigana na Mungu sio mchezo. And Mungu akiamua ku take down your enemies, anakushangaza. So mimi hata sio tu huyo. Hata wewe mtu mwingine yoyote unapofanya chochote, I believe kwenye vita anayopigana. As long as mimi na mimi na check, mimi na Paulo Daudi anasema jipele, anajipeleleza nafsi yake. Mimi najipeleleza kwamba haya anayosema. Okay, what is wrong? Nimefanya kweli? Hapana. Nini sababu? Ah, unagundua okay, kuna unaiacha kwamba sasa Bwana, hii naiacha. Yeah, yani mimi ninaamini kwenye it is so sweet. Okay. <laughs> when you let God fight for you. Joel, because of our time, <laughs> yani we are any dogu meenda, any Joel abidi kualika tena siku nyingine. Joel, tumalizie na hii kabla sijakualika any other day but let, let us finish with this. Mm. Mwaka huu Joel tunategemea ni Lumenda Marekani kuna collaboration za kina Tasha Cobbs huko au ni vipi? Kina Craig Franklin, Maverick Music. Mwaka huu watu wakaeje? Wakae vipi 2022? Najua umetoa hiyo High and Deeper mm. uh, uh, EP. What else is coming for you? Of course, uh, vinakuja vingi. Mm. Vinakuja vingi. Niyo tu mkweli kama ulivyosema tunajitahidi ku Nilikuwa na collabs nyingi hata kabla sijafanya High and Deeper album. Mm. Na sasa nafikiri it's time za tatakiwa zitoke. Mm. So ni muda kutoa collaborations tofauti tofauti na Ukiangalia haya ndi pale album ambayo nimefanya peke yangu yeah, na nilifanya makusudi peke mm. yangu. Kwa sababu nilikuwa najua kinachofuata sasa inakuja mm. sasa ya collaboration. Kwa hiyo this time sasa tuko na collaboration. Collaboration chache ambazo nilikuwa sijazikamilisha ni za hapa ndani ambazo mm. nilikuwa natamani nizikamilishe lakini nyingi za nchi zimekamilika. Mm. Tutoe sasa collaboration. Well, It's okay. been a long time since yeah, yeah, collaboration. Well. Joel, uh, nikushukuru kwa kuweza kufika. Thank yeah. you and I hope tutapata muda mwingine zaidi. Kabisa. Yeah, another time, another mm. interview. Najua mm. kuna vitu vingi ambavyo hatuja vikava, tujaongea yeah. like I'm sure yeah. tukipata nafasi tutaongea vizuri zaidi. But thank yeah. you for coming through at Coffee Night. Ladies and gentlemen, wewe ndio Minister Joel Luaga. Huyu ni mume wa mtu huyu mmoja anaitwa yeah. Peace Luaga sasa hivi. <laughs> Umeweza kumsikia kila kitu alichokiongea ni mtumishi wa Mungu, ni mtu ambaye ameweza kuweka vitu vyake very straight na kwa wewe ambao unampenda Mungu basi na mshua na kama unaongozwa na roho utakuwa umeweza kumuelewa in detail kama mimi ambavyo nimeweza kumuelewa. Hii ndio ilikuwa coffee night with the girls at Mackenzie let's meet some other time with a different guest hakikisha kwamba unatu follow kwenye Instagram page yetu at official FMJ Media. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel with just one name F MJ Media hit the subscribe button hit the notification button ili wa kwanza kuweza kupata interview zote kali kwenye page yetu ya YouTube thank you very much my name is Seth Mackenzie ndo coffee night FMJ Media take care